Welcome to the magnificent Villa Montezuma Museum, also known as the Jesse Shepherd Francis Grierson House. This 1887 mansion is at the heart of the Sherman Heights Historic District near downtown San Diego. Located at the corner of 20th and K Streets, it's one of nearly 400 buildings that make up San Diego's largest historic district. The Villa Montezuma is the jewel of the district and a Sherman Heights icon. This Queen Anne masterpiece, with its eclectic design, fish scale shingles, and rooftop gargoyles is on the National Register of Historic Places. Since 1972, the City of San Diego's Park and Recreation Department has owned the house and it's been operated as a museum. Today it looks out over a skyline filled with modern high-rises, the Central Library, and Petco Park. Back in 1887, however, the Villa Montezuma had unobstructed views of San Diego Bay. The first owner of this fascinating home was musician and spiritualist Jesse Shepherd. Born in England in 1848, he and his family moved to America six months later. Young Jesse was a true musical talent with his virtuoso piano improvisations and beautiful voice. As his reputation grew, Jesse performed concerts throughout Europe. He also embraced spiritualism believing the spirits of famous composers could communicate with him through music. By 1887, he was very well known and was invited by wealthy ranchers in San Diego to come here and build a palace of the arts in downtown. That palace is the Villa Montezuma, a place of art, music, and literature. Let's take a tour inside this magnificent Victorian mansion. Jesse Shepard designed the villa with prominent architects Comstock and Troche. The mansion is made of redwood, and the main level is built so that each room connects in a circular pattern. Guests were brought into the small reception room. Here they could enjoy the first of many intricate stained glass windows by John Mallon and Sons of San Francisco and Anaheim. Jesse would then invite his friends into the music room for private concerts and other entertainment. What an amazing place for musical performance. The rich walnut paneling and embossed ceiling were inspired by Jesse's international visits to royal homes. This is one of five fireplaces in the museum. These fireplace tiles were imported from England. Priceless stained glass windows portray Jesse Shepard's favorites from art, music, and literature. Nowhere are the four seasons better depicted than in the windows of the Northeast Tower. The east wall is dedicated to poetry, and we can see the Greek poet Sappho in the center window. At her side are windows with characters from the English poet John Milton. Along the south wall is where Jesse had his piano. High above are stained glass portraits of the painters Raphael and Rubens. Underneath are the Orient and the Occident, the East and the West, two windows that are very special to this room. At right you see the Crusader, and at left the Muslim. Jesse Shepard had his own portrait painted as the Muslim. Next to the music room is the drawing room, where Jesse's guests would have been invited to have refreshments. When Jesse lived here, this room was filled with his treasures. 
In the drawing room windows, we have Jesse's favorites in literature, Shakespeare from England, Goethe from Germany, and Cornier from France. The side windows have a stylized feather motif representing Moctezuma, the Aztec emperor. Most important is the portrait painted when Jesse Shepard was in Russia when he was 23 years old. We're lucky we still have this painting here in San Diego. Off the drawing room is Jesse's bedroom and dressing room, now decorated with period antiques. Note that the original wallpaper is the Royal French Fleur de Lis. We move through Jesse's dressing room and past the small library. On the west side, Jesse installed a large stained glass window of St. Cecilia, the patron saint of music and musicians. In the northwest corner of the villa is the bedroom and office of Lawrence Waldemar Tonner, Jesse's secretary and friend. The stained glass windows in Tonner's office have the simple squares of glass found throughout the Sherman Heights Historic District. You can still see downtown from this room. As we leave Tonner's suite, we enter the dining room, which is one of the smaller rooms in such a large house. Two stained glass windows represent the seasonal harvests. The dining room Romeo and Juliet fireplace is quite elaborate. We've now come full circle, and stairs lead us up to Jesse's personal retreat. At the landing, we are greeted by St. George, the patron saint of England, Jesse's birthplace. Upstairs is where Jesse Shepard began his writing career and transformed into the author Francis Grierson, his nom de plume for most of his writing career. In San Diego, Jesse wrote for the Golden Era magazine under his own name. As he became more serious about his writing, his pen name, Francis Grierson, became his byline. Francis was his middle name, and Grierson was his mother's maiden name. For the rest of his life, Jesse Shepard would be known as Francis Grierson, one very talented man with two names and two distinct careers. Francis did his writing in the Tower Room, where he could see Coronado and the Hotel Dell. While the view is very different today, it's still lovely. The Villa Montezuma Museum is a special place that has been saved, restored, and protected for everyone to enjoy. Oh, one more thing. The question we're asked most is, is it haunted? It's not haunted, it's enchanted.